Hi everyone, welcome back. In this episode, I'm going to be exploring the Hedge Lab. It is quite dark in here, so you'll need a torch or two. Um, I found the journey there quite disorienting the first time I played, so I've just left it in so you can see how to get there. I'm not going to cut any bits out of that. So just up here you've got a field station. In there you've got a couple of granola bars and a tape as well. The Kinder Science lab so you'll just want to start by going up this branch here, up to the right. You'll want to leave your backpack kind of empty because there's quite a lot to pick up in this lab. So you don't want to be throwing stuff away to pick it up. Things you will need to bring are uh, a couple of torches because it is quite dark at times. Um, the ant club I found quite useful for fighting the spiderlings. Um, you might want to bring the larva blade as well. That's good for chopping through the spider webs. You will also want to bring a bow and arrow, lots of fiber bandages, and granola bars. There are a lot of granola bars that you'll pick up on the way. Um, we've already picked up two so far, and there's quite a few in some of the rooms in the hedge lab as well. So just up here, there's a little room that you'll want to go in as well. There's a few more granola bars in there too. So we've got this tape on the table here, and there's our granola bars. We've also got a scabby bug juice. There's some raw science in there. And then in this chest in the corner, we've got some marble. There's also some water on the ceiling, which you might want to take. It is clean water. So continuing on now, we're coming up to the Flingman flying disc. Um, if you were going to fight the Broodmother, this is basically the same way to get here. Um, and this is the point where you would turn right, but we're going to oh, carry on straight to get to the hedge lab. So there's another scabby on the frisbee here, the Supreme Scheme. So don't forget to pick that up. And uh, when you get onto this branch, you want to go left at the fork. And we'll take this zip line into a mini part of the hedge lab. So in here we've got some more spiderlings, so take care of them. And there's a few things in this room to pick up as well. So we've got a chest over here with a quartzite, marble, a smoothie and a meal. We've got another tape on the table and some fiber bandages. And there's also water on the ceiling again. So here you would think that you're going straight, but you're not. Turn left out the door and carry on up this branch. This is the part where I got lost the first time I played it. I didn't find it very intuitive, which is why I'm leaving this in the video here. Jump up onto that leaf, then onto this twig, and that will take you to the branch with the zip line on. And this zip line takes you into the main part of the hedge lab. So once you get in here, you'll want to scan your hand on the myometric scanner, which will turn on the computer. So if you press on the computer, that should open the door. Here we go. In this chest we've got another meal, more quartzite and more marble. And there's another tape on the table there. I don't think there's anything else to pick up in this room, so if we carry on through up here. I like to use the larva blade to cut through this webbing. And behind this door we've got um, an orb weaver junior and uh, two spiderlings I think. The first time I played this I died here quite a lot so I just wanted to leave this fight in um, just to show you how I did it. I am using the ant club. Um, I'm sure you could do it a lot better than me. But I just wanted to show you how I did it. Um, 
if it was just the Aubrey were junior, it probably wouldn't be that bad, but when you're constantly getting nibbled by spiderlings, it does make it a little bit tougher. So over here on the left, we've got another chest with yet more marble and quartzite and two more mules as well. There is another tape on this table here. I can't scan anything at the moment. There's a workbench there if you needed to craft something. Some fiber bandages up there. And over here is the first part of the password. And that password will open the door to the super chip. So that's basically what we're doing here. We're searching the hedge lab to find pieces of the password to get to the super chip. So a couple more spiderlings over here. Let's take care of them. Not sure if the ant club is the most effective, but I found it works okay. So on the other side of this door, we've got a Taze T. So don't forget to peep him. I found the ant club also quite effective for these. As you can see, he takes a massive amount of damage. Sorry, deals a massive amount of damage. I think that was about a quarter of my health in one hit. There we go, and you do get 100 raw science from each one that you kill, which is quite good. And I'm just eating the mite loaf there to get some more attack stamina. So in this room, we've got the aphid statue on the table there definitely want to pick that up. That will give us phase one of the Rascal Rogue mutation. And that mutation increases your chances of stealing items from enemies that you fight. So it's quite a useful mutation. So continuing on here, we've got more Taze Teas and Rusty, which I should have uh, peeped, but I forgot so make sure you peep them. I walked them all the way back to the orb weaver room and I managed to get one caught in a spider web so I only had to deal with one at a time which was quite uh, useful I think. So my health is really quite low. Um, I'm almost dead actually. So I think I should have been taking granola bars all this time instead of fiber bandages because um, well, I'll take one in a minute and you'll see. They heal about a quarter of your health, roughly. So, very useful. There's a reason that they're lying around all over the lab, because you will need them. So, going back into this room, we've got some uh, berry chunks and another rusty here. I did manage to perfect block him, so he was much easier to kill than the others. And we've got another berry chunk up here and some raw science. Get your science so we don't want to take that zip line because there is a branch blocking the way. So we'll take that zip line uh, further down at a later time. But for now, we'll continue up this corridor, hack through these spider webs. And this will lead us to a room full of goodies basically. Um, if you've run out of fiber bandages or your torch is dying, there is some dry grass, some uh, plant fiber and some sap in here. So you can make more fiber bandages and torches if you need them. There's also marble, quartzite, acorn pieces and uh, silk rope as well. So it's quite a good little stock room. We'll leave him be because he's sleeping. So on this zip line, you don't want to ride it to the end. You want to jump off here so you can land on top and jump down this hole and get another piece of the password. And of course, there's some more spiderlings there. So take care of those. And on the table here, there's some more fiber bandages more granola bars and there's some more water on the leaf as well. That's not so bad. 
bad. So if you go left from here, this will take you back down to the first room where we killed the Orb Weaver Jr. So if you open that door, that's all joined up now. And if you go back the other way, that will lead you to another door you'll need to hack through. And that leads to the room where we first killed the Taze Tea. So that's all joined up. So now we want to go back to the Orb Weaver Jr. room. And we're going to take a zip line, that one there. But we don't want to just jump onto the zip line because that will happen. The berry was blocking the way. So we'll need to find our way back up now. And we may as well get that science there while we're here. So if you remember, I said you'll need a bow and arrow. I think that's the most effective way to get rid of this berry. Shoot it down, and now we can take the zip line. So in this room, we've got some more raw science and another piece of the password. And we've got a sleeping Orb Weaver Jr. there, which we don't want to disturb. And I haven't peeped him, so make sure you peep them. And I think over here in this corner as well, We've got another scabby, so try and get that without getting caught in the web. The ghost mint scheme, if that's the one I'm thinking of, I think it's my favourite, it's a very nice colour. So now if we hack through this door, if you remember earlier we came across a zipline where I said we can't take that now because there's a branch blocking it, so we'll take it further down. Well, that's this zip line here. So in here, there is another uh, Rusty, I think. Yep. A nice perfect block thing. So he wasn't too bad. And you'll want to turn a light on because it is very dark in here and you don't want to fall down that hole in the floor before you've picked up the final piece of the password. So I don't think there's anything else to pick up in this room. So if we jump down the hole, that will take us back outside the lab. And if we go down this branch, it should take us back inside the lab. So now we've got all the pieces of the password. If we go back to uh, the original room with the computer in it we'll be able to enter that password into the computer and that should open the door behind us which contains the super chip it's also got a tape and a duper disc as well so that's the hedge lab complete find your way back down to the ground and then just start heading towards your trail marker for your house. Hey, mosquito, On my way home, I did I manage to peep a mosquito, which I hadn't peeped yet. But I didn't want to fight him, so I just stunned him and ran away. I also managed to peep a firefly as well. So that's it for the hedge lab. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more content like this. Join me in the next one where I'll be taking on some bombardier beetles and stink bugs to craft some tier 2 items. See you then.